How are we all doing? Today we're talking about the Canon EF 100-400 lens and the Times 2 converter. So, let's get straight into it. Ah, so let's get straight into the stats and features of this monster of a lens. First of all, it has a 77mm filter ring. Um, it weighs 1,380 grams, which is just under three pounds, I think. Um, aperture is from f4.5 to f38. And it currently costs in Australia anywhere from 2,800 to about a $3,000 mark, which is insane. But this is a serious piece of lens. It's actually the Mark II model. We will go out and shoot with it soon, just so you guys can get a sort of feel of how big the zoom actually is. And let's break down these two items as well. Uh, so let's also talk about these two little things. Number one is the lens hood. Lens hood just hooks on wherever the dots line up. That lines up like that. This little open and shut here is if you have a variable ND filter, then just makes it easy, you can rotate it without having to take the lens hood off. Now the lens hood actually won't move while this little button here is out, so you've got to push that button in to rotate, and then it'll pop off. Now the times two, easy as anything. One end into the camera. Lens hops on this end, I believe. Yep, two red dots line up. Rotate. Check the cap back on the end. So now this lens will become a 200 to 800, which is absolutely maximum range. I think these are mainly designed for pretty much sport photographers or wildlife photographers. You're probably not shooting landscapes with this. You're probably not shooting portraits or weddings. If you are, you're probably getting some awesome and super different photos. But yeah, definitely different. And this is so heavy. I wouldn't want to be carrying it around all day, whatever I'm doing. Um, if we break down the two rings, you obviously have your zoom ring and a focus ring. On this side, we got obviously autofocus or manual focus stabilizer. There's three different levels of stabilization. Um, tripods have to hook on to this. You, if your tripod, if you hook your tripod onto your camera, in your camera, there's going to be too much weight forward and it's going to pull the tripod forward. So you've got to hook your tripod plate onto this part of the lens just due to its massive, massive ugh, weight and size. All right, so I think the best thing to do is probably just go out and take some shots. We'll take some shots from obviously 100 to 400, then 200 to 800, and we'll see what we can get with it, see what we can do. Short, sharp, and sweet, hopefully. If you are seriously looking at this, getting this lens, um, yeah, just be aware it's super heavy. Also, with the times two on, I believe the autofocus does not work very well, so you'll have to manual focus whatever you're shooting. That is just... I think if you spend this much on the lens, you'll know how to manual focus and everything anyway. So you should be all right. All right, so let's get out there. Let's take some photos, and off we go.